What's up everyone, welcome to Kai's channel. Today we'll be talking about the Gundam figure live that Bandai has released it on the 28th of July. Now in that live streaming, they actually showcase a lot of new products that they're going to release from the Metal Build series, the Metal Robot Tamashi, and the Robot Tamashi series. However, in this video, we'll be only covering the Metal Build series, so in case any of you guys want to know about the other two series, I'll include the full video link in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Alright, enough of that, let's get started. Now just as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I'll be only covering the Metal Build series and I'll be jumping around in different orders than the live streaming did, based on their priority and also their release dates. So starting off, we're going to cover it's the Astraea Type X. Now this Gundam Astraea Type X is actually basically a recoloring of the other two Astraea, the normal Astraea and also the Type F. But of course, we get this very sinister look with the mask that it has on the head, which reminds me greatly on the enemies that appeared in the Gundam Build Diver Revise, especially on the head part. Now I personally never really like any of the sinister look with the dark coloring with the all black color scheme. However, throughout the entire Gundam series, there's probably two Gundams that in all black that I do like, which is one it's from the Gundam Build Fire series, which is the amazing Ixia Dark Matter. And also the second one would probably be this. But now that I think about it, both of them are actually Ixia variants, so most likely that's the reason why I like it. But anyways, to be honest, I don't think I expect too much differences other than the colors and the decals obviously from the Type F. But I did notice that the 2GN shield on the back, that connecting part, it's actually metal which is really great. And then you got these two smaller GN shields that you can mount on the arms. It seems like the middle part you can turn just like the Jinx that we've seen in the anime series. And then of course, the most important one is the GN sharpshooter which looks really great. Now I think everyone should actually get this one, not only because it definitely looks really cool and sick, but a part of me feels that there's going to be an option set that's coming out. Now, just to be clear, I don't have any insider information nor is there anything that backing up. It's just only my speculation. And here's why. Now you guys will probably remember that the normal Estrella and also the Type F, both of them has the armor option set. So. Being it with Bandai that likes to recolor things and pull it out as a complete new product just like this one right here with it added a little more gimmicks to it. I personally think that Bandai would most likely recolor the option set as well and release it for this Type X. Which I'm totally fine with it and I think it's going to look absolutely amazing with the full armor onto it. So. In case they actually do release that, that's going to be freaking awesome and I'm definitely going to buy it. Then I can display my original Estrella with the full armor, with this one, the Type X, with its full armor with the white and black contrast that looks really great. Now you have the Type F, you can actually have all three to display it, that looks even more amazing but I personally don't have the Type F so just the black and white will look amazing already. Now just one thing to take note of is that I did look into the pre-order site and find that the mask is actually not a mask where you can clip on onto the head but rather it's a exchangeable head to display the two completely. So that's something that was a little bit unexpected. I was hoping that it's going to be a mask because it's called the royal mask. I was hoping that you can put it on and take it off but it doesn't seem like that's the case. So that's something that you guys should take note of. Now I don't think this is going to be a life and death matter but that's just something to point out too in case anyone was wondering. But aside from that, I'm definitely looking forward to this release. L absolutely great looking. Alright, that's it for this one. Let's move on. So next we have is the normal metal build which is they're covering it's the Strike Gundam. Now this Strike Gundam is actually repackaged into the Metal Build 10th version. And 
from the look of the pictures and all, I don't see any actual differences in either the decals, the colorings on the stripe. And the only difference that I noticed is actually the package itself, like the box itself. So for those of you who's wondering, it's most likely they're just going to repackage in the box and release it and call it the 10th version just so that you can buy another one. So for people that who already owns the Strike Gundam, I don't think you should frantically pre-order this as there's actually no difference that I can observe. So no need to actually go pre-order this in my opinion. But for those of you who actually missed out on the Strike Gundam, obviously this is the best timing that you can get. Not only do you not have to buy it off from the resellers, but you can also get the 10th version with the new packaging. And here we get to see for the first time, it's the Strike Roach, but in here it's actually with the Owl Strike backpack instead of its Autoly Striker back, which it's supposed to come with. So that's a little different from the actual product. And here they also introduce an online customized simulator for the Strike Gundam and also basically the alternative strike with all the backpacks and everything so that you can get the idea of mix and match different option set and see how it is. And you can choose on the first page, you can choose between the four, the Strike Gundam, the Strike Roach, Red Frame Kai and also the Blue Frame. Now if you click into either one of them to choose as the base, you can actually see that within it, there's different option set that you can choose and see how it is when it's mounted onto it. So which is a really good idea in case you're wondering if it looks cool on the red frame, blue frame or even the strike road. So this system actually gives you an idea onto it, which is actually pretty good because not everyone's going to have each and every single one of the metal build just to see how it looks like when you mix and match with it. So that's a really good idea. However, not everything is actually online yet. You can see that some of those things that it's actually grayed out. But what you do see that it's something that they show for the first time in this video, which is one is the lowering green launcher. And also it's this thing called the sniper pack. Now both the lowering green launcher and also the sniper pack is actually one of the equipments that the blue frame actually uses and obviously they don't look exactly like it is in the story it's actually pretty much redesigned so definitely have to see that when we get the product in hands to see what kind of gimmicks that they actually included as the metal build but one thing i have to say for sure is that the sniper pack when it's equipped onto the blue frame it actually looks pretty terrible in my opinion I personally don't like it with the thing over the head, but then again, I have to see from my own eyes once we get the product and equip it up to the blue frame. So for you guys, in case you were wondering if whichever striker pack you need to get, is it good or not, does it look good, I think you can try to use the customized simulator and just get a chance and feel of it so that it can give you a much more idea whether or not you should purchase it or not. I'll include it in the link below so that you guys can get an easy access onto it. So the next one that they actually show in the video is the Astray Red Dragon, which is finally an official product. It's not something that you put together the Calivulge with the flight unit to get a patched up Red Dragon like I did before. But this one, from the look of it, obviously you get the Dragon V fin on the head, but the beam effect actually I personally don't really like it because it actually looks like a bunny ear. I think it actually could give it a more edge instead of very round like it is right now. So unless they actually have two different kind of beam effects that you can switch between the two, otherwise the beam effect right now for the antenna, I personally don't think I'm going to put it on like this. Hopefully I have a choice that I can take that off. If not, then that would be very terrible. But aside from the antenna, I noticed that the main body, the only the decals is different. Other than that, it seems to be the same as the Red Frame Kai that we've got before, the newer version, the alternative strike version. And then on the Califoge on the back, seems to have a slight difference on the connector. You can see on top, 
section, there's actually a very slight difference design than the Calavolge option set that we got before, but for the rest of it, it looks to be the same, except for some of the big cows. So definitely it's going to be interesting to see if this is going to be released or not. Now the reason why I say this before is that on the next product that they actually introduced, which is the Red Frame Dragon Nex, and it actually looks very similar to the Red Dragon that we've seen just now, but with a lot more equipment and it looks so much cooler. Now you can see right here that beside the color vault looks absolutely different from the red dragon just now we also get the jabber straight the two cantanas that on the side where the red dragon didn't have that on it on the product that we've seen not sure that if they didn't equip it or they didn't have it completely at all but in here the dragon x you can see that it's there and also the calavulge is completely different with the clear parts on it and it looks so much cooler and it's packed with all these armaments and also these two things on the sides of the legs I'm not sure what they are it gives us a very strong impact on the Dragon X so definitely it's something that I would definitely want but you can actually see that there's a lot of clear supporting arms that support all the things at the back so it seems to be pretty heavy for it to stand up just on its own like that now going back to the questions whether or not they're going to release the Red Dragon is that now that they are putting in action for planning for the Dragon X to be released, if you actually release the Red Dragon, which is so much similar to the Dragon X, only a little bit more inferior, and most of us would probably agree that we're not going to get the Red Dragon and save the money to get the Dragon X. Now some of you might say that, oh, they're most likely going to release the Red Dragon and then whatever that's different on the Dragon X will come as an option set. That might be true, but I did take a look in the video and saw that the main body for the Red Dragon and also the Dragon X, they're actually completely different on the decals and some of the colorings as well. So that doesn't seem to be the case. However, I'm not going to say definitely that's not going to be true, but you know, chances are unlikely. So I think for those of you that actually wants the Red Dragon, I think you should actually wait until they actually have more information on the Dragon X first. Now if they're going to release the Dragon X first and then the Red Dragon later, then obviously that's a dumb idea on their part, but I would suggest to get the Dragon X and save the money and not get the Red Dragon. But then again, unless they release more information on this, otherwise that's my standpoint. And if they prove me wrong with more information later, then I might change my mind and I will let you guys know what I think later. Now last but not least that they showcase is that it's obviously what everyone is waiting for, the Justice Gundam. Now the Justice Gundam so far is actually looking really great with the flight backpack on the back. It's super amazing coloring is done exactly like it is in the anime so far from the lighting it looks pretty cool and of course they did show you that just like it is in the anime you can actually have the justice to stand on the backpack and display it like that that's absolutely fabulous because that's the iconic move for the justice and if you can't do that then basically it's not justice at all so definitely really great to see that it can be displayed like that so absolutely amazing. Now so far what we know right now with the Dragon X and also with the Justice Gundam, both of them are actually currently in planning so there's actually no information whether or not they're going to release it, when they're going to release it and also the cost so just be in the lookout on these couple items and I'll definitely share with you guys once I find out as well but it's definitely a hype to look forward for these two releases. Definitely on my list of getting them. And also they did cover in the video is that they are going to collaborate the Metal Bill and also the Gundam 00 in a complete new project. Now what kind of project is it? No one knows. They didn't actually mention that but they just said that they're really excited that there's going to a new project with the Gundam 00 and also the Metal Bill together. 
and the Estrella Type X it's something that seems to be the start of this new project so not sure what they're going to release later on with this new project and I do hope that they actually release the rest of the Gundams from the 00 series because all we have so far is the Ixia. We want to see the Dynamis, we want to see Curios, especially if it can transform, and also the Virtual. Now, just a thing that I want to say is that if they are able to release the Virtual as an option set and release the base as Natale, and then we put the option parts onto it to become Virtual, that would be exceptionally awesome. And basically you can say, shut up and take my money. If you can do that Bandai, I'll definitely buy it like that. And that's what they cover for the metal build on that video. Definitely a lot of information needs to digest so it's great that we've seen some of the video but I did hate how they released the pre-order of the Estrella Type X shortly after they finished this live video so definitely not a good idea because I totally missed out on the video originally and obviously as a result, I missed out the pre-order for the Type X from the P Bandai, so definitely not great on that part. But aside from that, the content of the of the video is really great. Be sure to check it out if you're actually interested in the Metal Robot Tamashi and also the Robot Tamashi series. They also have that in there as well. Now to finish off this video, there's something that's not from this Gundam figure live. But it's also related to Metal Build, which is the Metal Build Dragon Scale. Now they did release in their Twitter that they're coming with new products from the Wataloo series. Because their first product, the Luji Maru, has been released it. And I'm actually waiting for my order from Japan, which supposedly they say it's going to arrive August 6th. So definitely will do a review once I get my hands on that. And they're going to release the different types of variants as the Dragon Scale. Now personally, I don't really think that's a good idea to be honest. Because one, I'm not a Wataru series fan. I only like a certain type from the original series, which is only like a handful of them. But it seems like they're going with the new anime series and release their different types of version of the Lujin Maru. So, Unless you're a big fan, otherwise I think you can actually save your money from it. But again, wait until I actually reveal the first product, the Luji Maru, and then we can actually come back to see whether or not it is worth continuing with this series. Alright, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and find it useful. As always, do support me by hitting that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.